So if you want a delicious, moist Thanksgiving turkey that everyone will rave about, watch this. I know you've heard about the benefits of brining a turkey. Well, mine starts with high mountain game bird and poultry brine. For every gallon of water in a non-reactive container, mix in one packet of the brine mix. Place the turkey in a heavy-duty bag and pour the brine over. Cinch up the bag to remove most of the air. If space allows, place it in the refrigerator or load it into a cooler, cover up with ice, and let it brine for 24 hours. Remove from the brine, rinse with cold water, and pack dry. Wash, rinse, and sanitize the cooler. The turkey can be smoked, grilled, baked, or fried. I'm smoking this one at about 300 degrees. I always remove the pop-up timer and use other thermometers. At 300 degrees, allow 20 minutes per pound for an 8 to 12 pound bird, or 15 minutes per pound for a 12 to 16 pound bird. Once the turkey reaches 160 to 165 degrees at the thigh, Transfer to the smallest sanitized cooler that the cooked turkey will fit into. If there is airspace between your turkey and the lid, cover with foil and clean dry towels for insulation. Close the lid and do not open the lid for two hours. I know what you're thinking. It's not going to be hot in two hours. Trust me, as long as nobody opens the lid and lets the heat out, it'll be screaming hot when you start carving and carve by removing each breast fillet. By the way, if you happen to overcook your bird, and I've done that more than once, heat up a little chicken or turkey broth, pour it over your turkey in a small cooler, and close the lid for an hour or two. You'll be surprised at just how the hot broth brought an otherwise dry turkey back to life. Take a slice and notice how juicy and delicious it is. Grind it, cook it, and pack it into a cooler for a couple of hours. Your turkey will be perfectly moist and ready to serve when the green bean casserole is ready.